Okay, well, camera started throwing up a low memory alert there, so I've gone and replaced the shorty earth lead with a decent long one, and everything else is set. Pretty easy to see how to wire these things up, but I'll just get some close-up shots at the end just to reaffirm that. And now it's time to plug it in and see what this motor wants to do. I haven't run this motor on this uh, starting torque limiter before, so let's see what it does. Plug in. Main power's on. Simulate energising the contactor coil. I'm just going to depress it manually. Yeah, it runs. What are we set on? That's minimum ramp up time and minimum initial torque. So it's not quite delivering as many amps, but it's still not restricting the volts. At least I believe that's how they work. This is minimum ramp up time but maximum torque. Sort of what you want for an air compressor or something with a good starting load. Oh yeah. It's trying to jump off the table and the lights dim pretty seriously. Well, it's a nice flick anyway. Under a, under a load it would really dim the lights. So that's just jumping off the table with the amount of torque that it's got. That's a good strong motor. Let's try maximum ramp up time of 5 seconds and absolute minimum torque. There we go. No dimming of the lights and a nice soft start. So that's, in, that's basically turned it into a soft starter. Yeah. Yeah, it's a bit reluctant to start softly, but that's just because it's a single phase motor. Three phase would be a lot smoother. Maximum ramp up torque, but maximum ramp up time. <laughs> it's still delivering maximum amps even at low volts this thing just jumps to life. But that's because it's cap start and cap run. I imagine on a normal induction motor with no capacitors it'd be even slower on the start up. But there you go. That is how you can wire a Danfoss starting torque limiter TCL25 or TCL15 to a single phase supply. Now, starting from the AC in end, obviously going L1 and L3 through the contactor, T1 and T3 up to L1 and L3 on the uh, torque limiter and then out to T1 and T3 completely ignore the second phase, T1, L2, or T2, or L2, whatever you call it, on single phase applications. Motor's wired up as normal. Reversing of the motor occurs inside here, so you could probably put a drum switch across it, but I've never tried it myself. Might be alright for a lathe, but then there's no real point in putting something like this on a machine which you want instant or quick reverse on. Conveyors, yeah, but I've never wired one up, so not too sure on how to do that. But all the specifics are published on Danfoss's website. Contactor, Danfoss can supply those, but you don't have to use one. Although I recommend them, they're a well-made contactor. So that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.